with Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to my crafting life and what I did this past week, which wasn't a lot because halfway through the week I had a fall and I have badly bruised all my ribs down the right side. Deep tissue bruising. No, the ribs aren't cracked. They're extremely sore. So crafting, um, I can't sort of knit or crochet for very long without it hurts. My arm hurts. And I am breathless because it hurts to breathe. So if I'm a little breathless, it's not because I'm trying to be sexy. It's because I literally can't get enough air in without it hurting. Anyway, what did I get up to in my crafting life this week? Well, a bit of knitting and a bit of crochet. Some of it done before I fell. So normally I would do bod hat a palooza and I would have crocheted a hat to show you. But this week's hat that came out in the drawer was a sun hat, which for me isn't fit for my purpose of donating to charity. So I decided, well, I'll have to make a slouch hat. And the other thing I did decide was I have 20 tubs and drawers full of yarn that really isn't allocated for any particular project. And I've decided I will pick from a tub and make something. So I went to tub one, they're all numbered, and I went through the yarn and I picked out some yarn to make a slouch hat. So what yarn did I pick? Well, Premier Serenity sock yarn. I have this quite a while. I originally bought it to make my first pair of socks. It turned out really, they turned out really well, and I do like the colors. So the colourway is Pastel Party. Now I think this is discontinued. I don't think you can get this anymore. It is a number one super fine uh, weight and they recommend a 275 knitting needle and a 3.5 millimetre crochet hook. And there are 210 metres, 230 yards per 50 gram ball. So this was the yarn I pulled out. I had two 50 gram skeins and some little leftovers and then I thought well I'll make my go-to slouch hat pattern that always sells well in Etsy that I like and then I thought oh I should try a new pattern for something different so I've seen quite a few people make the sock head slouch hat and I decided that's the one I'd make it's a free pattern on Ravelry so here it is the sock head slouch pattern that's the one I made and I made it in the Serenity yarn. So here we go. Ta -da! Now it has a fold back brim. So it's quite a long brim, about, I don't know, four inches, depending on what size you're making. And of course, it's a fine slouch hat. Look, I made the medium size and it will fit me. Um, the ribbing does stretch out a bit, but not so that it looks funny, but yes. I do have a buff head. What I liked about the yarn when it was finished is the back center, how it turned out like that. Isn't that really looks lovely? Now, the pattern itself, I used a 2.75 millimeter knitting needle for the rib and a three millimeter for the hat. I found it slow going, fine yarn, small needles. It seemed to be what forever to knit the rib and then forever to knit the hat. But once I hit the decreases, it happened really quickly. But I do like the way it turned out. And yes, it is an easy pattern to follow and a nice slouch hat. I just can't decide if I prefer it to my original go-to favorite or this one. So maybe with the leftover yarn, I'll make my go-to favorite. This particular sock head slouch took 58 grams of yarn. I thought it would be more, but it didn't. That's all it took, and it is very lightweight. So there you have it. Instead of making a bod hat a palooza, some hat I made the slouch hat. The second thing I made, well, because I was sore, I did some catch ups on videos, and then I've wanted to make an amigurumi turtle, but I've never found a pattern that I really like or enjoy and I prefer no sew I'm not a great sewer and I came across a channel that I hadn't watched before I think it might have been a Elaine at Penguin Place that spoke about it 
called Yarn and Whimsy. And on her channel, she did a review, I guess, and uh, turtle patterns. I've forgotten what she called it. Was it review, Ramblings and Review or something like that? Anyway, the link to her channel will be in the description below. Highly recommend it. It was really enjoyable. What she had done is make a heap of different turtle patterns and she spoke about them, the yarn, the pattern, and picked her favourite and her least favourite according to what she made. And I did really enjoy it. And I actually went off and bought on Etsy one of the patterns. I think it might have been a favourite of one of them. She's Crafty Crochet. No so so Turtle Palm Pet. I really like the look of this. I don't have a lot of this like blanket yarn that they talk about that they make hamagurumis in. And I bought that. And I did intend to make that. But I've been sort of like, I really don't want to buy yarn just yet. And I couldn't really come up with anything in my vast yarn stock that I thought would work. And then I remembered crochet chums. My crochet chums. I subscribed to her newsletter and she has a website. She has free patterns and paid for patterns. And she does some awesome patterns and I've spoke about them before. And I went looking and I found a turtle pattern. The Lockdown Challenge Turtle number 36 she must have done this pattern during covid he is so cute there he is now he's not no so you do have to sew his flippers on his head on his tail on but it's not hard i don't i do it's not that i don't like sewing i just don't want to have to sew a lot of things so would you like to see my little turtle i made this is thomas the turtle Ta -da! he's got a little nose I did something wrong with his shaping of his head. He's a bit wonky, but having lived by the reef for a number of years, quite a few years, not all turtles look the same. So there you go. He's got his little flippers, his tail. I really like this trim that you get on the shell. And he was incredibly easy to make. And even with saw ribs, he didn't take me very long. Now it's a DK weight, three ply. Um, three weight whatever eight ply three weight whatever you want to call it and he is tiny oh well he's small he's not really he's like a palm turtle and he does sit really well but i used um spotlight marvel eight ply which is our local yarn that we can get and i think he's really cute and i had these two colors so there you go thomas the turtle my amigurumi that i made because i still like doing amigurumis the other thing about Yarn and Whimsy, she also had a video on, same sort of setup, reviewing axolotl patterns. And I can see an axolotl in my future. I have to do other things first, but there's definitely an axolotl out there with my name on to make. I really enjoyed her channel, so make sure you check it out. Now, and make sure you check out my crochet chums, because she does some awesome free patterns as well as paid for patterns and there yeah, I just love them I don't think she's got an axolotl pattern maybe she needs to do one that should be her next free pattern okay so what else I did I have got two big knitting projects and I was working on those um, because I get sore I can't there's a lot of stitches involved when I'm knitting and I don't do them enough. I did plan to have one finished this week before the fall, but it didn't happen. So we'll have to wait and see. So that's sort of the whips I've been working on, my advent blanket and this knitting pattern. However, I've decided my um, acts of kindness or gifts of kindness, hashtag gifts of kindness, where I set up all these project bags in 2023 ready for 2024 with either yarn gifted to me or pattern gifted to me or both and I numbered them and I put it on a wheel and I would spin and do one which was the poncho that I did so I decided today I would spin the wheel and I would pick one hopefully it wasn't a knitting pattern however it was number four and number four was whatever was in the pink bag just the plain pink bag and as you can see there's a lot of yarn so in here is premier dk 
anti-pilling everyday yarn. Ta -da! This was sent to me quite a while ago by a lovely friend and subscriber, Janet Lepre. She's probably been with me since I only had 10 subscribers. And I love this yarn. And every time I look at it, I think, oh, what will I make with it? This color is aqua. There are three balls of aqua in this bag. Three balls of white. And three balls of peach blossom. It is beautiful and soft. It is one, if not my favorite yarn to use. Probably why I haven't used it or unbagged it. Because once it's used, it's gone. And yes. This is what I drew out. So I didn't have a pattern in mind, but I've always thought of it as baby yarn because it's so soft. And I've decided I'm going to do a crochet baby blanket. I don't know what pattern yet. I have got one in mind that I've done before that I think these three colors will look really good in. But the decision is yet to come when I start it. I'm not going to do a knitting pattern. I have far too much knitting on the go and a little crochet blanket that I can sell in my Etsy shop and donate the money to charity will be great. So hopefully the pattern I pick will turn out really well, but they will be the three colors that I will use in a unisex baby blanket. What do you think? They're really nice. And I really thank Janet for that gift of kindness. So number two was number four, by number two project gift of kindness was number four, the pink bag with the premier yarn. So that's about it for me. The coming week is very busy with work. On Thursday, we have our annual scholarship presentation day ceremony, which until it's over with by noon, I'm pretty much exhausted and flat strapped. And then Friday is our public holiday for Australia Day. So yes, it's a busy week and I am sore, so I don't expect I'll get a lot of crafting done. But I will see you in the next video. So until next time, stay well, stay safe, and make sure you don't smack the floor like I did and fall. Stay on your feet and have one crafty day in the coming week. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.